folks, Chubby Meeple coming to you live from Origins 2022 on the floor. I'm here with Sean from Kids Table Board Games and Burnt Island Games as well. That's right. Uh, so we're here just checking things out. You've got a show going on. I know you got a day behind you here, but just wanted to check in with you, see what you guys are showing off at the show. Um, we've been doing you know little live in, on the floor interviews, showing these during Origins so folks can find you during the show. So uh, let them know what you got going on, where you are, where they can find you, and then if they're watching this after Origins, where they can find you online as well. Yeah, that's right. So uh, actually, it's been an interesting show for us. We started in booth 200, and we have moved to booth 420 because uh, we were in a dark, damp corner. So now yeah. we've got a little bit more light. It's a little warmer and cozier here. It is, yeah. I saw where you guys originally were, and it's like you were like right up against the wall. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. We had a great the wall. Yeah, we had a great view of the wall, but uh, now it's even better. Uh, That's good. But speaking about cozy, uh, we've been showing off a lot of creature comforts. Yes. This is a game that it's getting a lot of love right now. It is a very cute and comfortable worker placement game yeah. with a bit of a twist, and uh, people are enjoying this, adults and kids alike. It's a pretty accessible game and with wonderful art by Shauna J C Tenney. So. Uh, Oh, it's adorable. Super excited about that one. And the big other one that we've been showing off a lot of, that there's been a lot of anticipation for, is the sequel. Maple the Valley. The standalone sequel to Creature Comforts, Maple Valley. So uh, in Creature Comforts, it's all about getting ready uh, for the winter and uh, preparing your den for winter. And in Maple Valley, you have made it through the winter and you are uh, preparing uh, for the spring jamboree we're celebrating because the weather has turned. The weather's gone. Yeah, <laughs> the we yeah exactly. So it is, it, it certainly has the same feel as Creature Comforts, but completely different mechanics and uh, really excited to be showing this off. We're showing this off for the first time here. Very so we've cool. had, yeah, we've had a lot of people sign up to play. And uh, yeah, we'll have this uh, here and at Gen Con 2, and it's preparing for a uh, October Kickstarter, we're thinking. Awesome. Yeah, I love I love Creature Comforts. Like you said, it's super accessible, super easy to play. Uh, and I've got group you know, members of my game group that are you know my age, but then they're younger kids that have well, they, they all love it. And yeah. It's just so, so to see a standalone sequel coming, um, now will there be any integration between the two? Any kind of like crossover being able to combine, or is it strictly standalone? Uh, right now, it's it's strictly standalone. Nice. They, certainly, you will see uh, a lot of similarities between the two games. Certainly, uh, it's got the same DNA in it. Uh, but right now, there's no crossover. But yeah. you never know in, in Kickstarters and and various expansions that we can yep. put in there. Definitely, definitely could and, uh, could happen. And the community is so full of people that will come up with house rule ways to combine it post rules to BGG and all that fun stuff I've seen that happen last time so yeah it, it yeah. will definitely happen awesome. that's for sure so cool. you're at booth 420 yes here that's right uh, and you'll be here obviously all show <laughs> yep um, so if people are watching this after origins where can they find you online website social media that kind of stuff yep so we are uh, kids table bg.com and that's that's throughout any of our uh, socials and uh, burntislandgames.com. Oh, so, fantastic. Yeah, awesome. they can check us out there, and uh, we'll have all the latest news and upcoming events for us. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate you taking the time this morning with me, Sean, and uh, you guys have a great rest of the con. We'll talk to you later. And until next time, keep gaming, friends.